Some of the foods that you eat, even the ones that you think are healthy, are they making you sick, even overweight? Today we're going to be talking about hidden food allergies and chronic health problems with Dr. James Christosik, along with one of his patients, Kitty Vogel. Welcome to the show. All right, first off, uh, doctor, what exactly are hidden food allergies? Uh, Andrea suffers from uh, allergic reactions to mangoes. She didn't know it, so that was hidden. So what are they and how common are they? Well, she had a media reaction, okay, and that's what typical allergists will look for. They look for this, they do the skin scratch test and they find these reactions that occur within the first half hour. Delayed reactions occur anywhere from a half hour to maybe like three days later. So you may eat the food this morning for breakfast, but it's, you're reacting to it two days later. And so we do a test called the ELISA blood test that many alternative doctors like myself do. Uh, and we find that people who are suffering with chronic problems will have these type of reactions. Dr. Theron Randolph, a medical doctor and one of the foremost authorities, says that up to 75% of patients who go to doctor's offices today for common problems are linked to these food reactions or delayed reactions. And that's what Kitty's daughter had a delayed food reaction that she was suffering with for years, and she'll share that with you. So, Katie, your daughter uh, suffered from eczema, and you took her to a number of doctors, and then she had this ELISA blood test, and you found out she had hidden food allergies. How long did she suffer with eczema? She suffered for three years, ever since she was about six months old. She had rashes on her face, on her scalp, and especially on her feet. When she was about two years old, her top of her feet were all covered with scabs and she would just scratch and scratch and she would hit them with a plastic hockey stick and say her feet hurt, her feet hurt. Oh, that, and it, it had had to have been heart wrenching for it, her. My girlfriend was over and she said, look at Rachel. And I said, well, there's nothing you can do. I said, just, you know, turn your heart off. I said, 18 medications, three allergy tests, dermatologist, they all said it was in her head. A couple of them said, and I said, how can it be in her head when in the middle of the night I'm spraying medication on her when she's sound asleep and she wakes up screaming? So I was at home one day looking through a stack of papers, and I seen Dr. Christosik, and I'm looking at it, you know, I'm pitching, and I said, well, I said, you know, this is the last shot. So I made an appointment. First time I was to see him, I asked him what his success rate was with the ELISA blood test. He said 100%. So sure enough, we went ahead with it. Within two weeks, she started clearing up. She's now 10 years old, and last night I had her pull off her socks, and she still has scars on one of her feet from the scratching and the scabs and just from scratching. How has it changed her life for the better, I'm assuming? I mean, she must be happy. I mean, I can tell you're getting emotional here, and, and, and the, the fact that your little daughter now is, is cured from simple food allergies, and you found out. Yeah, she was. She had to live the first three, four years in the house, and now she won't come in the house. You know, she's outside all the time. It's Gave a good her. story. It's a good story. I mean, and, and good doctors like this, you know, finding out, you know, what is actually wrong with them. And, you know, it, it almost seems too simple. But, you know, after this Eliza blood simple. test, I mean, look what happened. And now she's a uh, happy, healthy She has her life back. Yeah, girl. I'm so grateful. That's wonderful. Now, Very doctor, grateful. you have to sleep pretty well at night hearing stories like this and knowing that you're helping people, but a little girl that you just gave her life back. Yeah. We see these kind of problems all the time. Eczema, 100%, I've seen people get cured with that. But people with chronic problems with migraines, people with weight problems, people with digestive disorders, autoimmune diseases, they respond to this thing very conservatively. It's wonderful. Well, doctor, thank you so much for coming on the show. Kitty, congratulations. I'm really happy for you and your daughter.